Hey guys, today we're going to show you how we installed our sliding door and rear cargo door windows into our Ford Transit. <laughs> we're Tim and Katie, and we chose to use Van Windows Direct fixed glass windows for our slider and rear cargo doors. We know this is a daunting task, so in this video, we'll show you all the necessary steps to install these windows from start to finish. For this project, we found it very helpful to have a step-by-step -step checklist to refer to before doing each window so we wouldn't miss any steps. So we've included that in the description below, but follow along and you'll see how we do it. So before we start, we just want to walk you through some of the supplies that you'll need. We have a jigsaw with a metal blade, uh, some painter's tape and some windshield securing tape. We have an awl and a hammer for tapping out our imprint that we're going to trace to cut out. The primer to prep the metal for the urethane adhesive. And last van, it was we found it really difficult to pump this stuff out with just a normal uh, caulking gun. So <clears throat> we got this and it should make it much, much smoother. And then lastly, the window trim to make it look good from the inside. On our first van, we used a drill and drilled along this inner line template um, and then traced all the drill holes from the outside, but it's pretty time consuming. So we found this technique online using just an awl and a hammer. And you just go around the outside. Every couple inches or so and tap all the way along. And then we'll be able to go on the outside and trace it. But up here, the metal is quite thick, so you can't use the awl to puncture through. So I am going to use this little tool to measure the distance between the cutout, or this portion that we're gonna cut out, and the ridge on the perimeter. And then just mark it along here, and we'll do some pilot holes for a reference point on the other side. So I'm gonna drill inside that line. Okay. Because that's our outer edge, right? Like we don't, it's okay if we cut this, but we don't really want to. Correct. Nice. Good job. We also want to make sure that the metal shavings are somewhat contained and don't fall into little crevices for rust in the future. So we're just taping down a sheet to catch it, or at least funnel it into an area we can clean it up easily. Okay, so can you trace it out? I'm just going to drill a few holes. All done. I tried to space them pretty close together. So that it gave Katie a really nice template to work off on the outside. I'm gonna use Sharpie and a piece of wood to get the, connect all the all <laughs> punch outs so we can have a nice clear line to trace with the jigsaw later. To protect the paint from the jigsaw gliding across the surface, we're gonna put some painter's tape down on the outside edge. Katie's got it all taped up, so I'm gonna drill it out. And this is just to fit uh, the jigsaw. the jigsaw blade into. I'm gonna use this to tape the bottom of the jigsaw here so that it doesn't scratch the van at all. Okay, and then while we're doing this, normally Katie goes on the inside of the van. As we said before, there are two layers and we ideally just want to cut the outside layer and be really close to the, to the inside layer. If you leave too much of a gap when you put your window trim on, you'll still see the metal of the outside layer and it doesn't look very clean. Ugly. So try and get as close to the inside one as you can. It's okay if you cut it, you just have to sand and file and prime it. And do not forget where the lock is. It's true. <laughs> We're fine, but yeah, you don't want to go over too far this way. Good call. Maybe I'll mark it. Bit of a tricky spot right on the corner here um, because it also is where the lock is. So we're just gonna use the multi-tool. Because rust is the enemy, we need to make sure that everything's nice and filed on the edges before we get ready to protect it with paint and primer. I finished filing down the rough edges, so now I'm going in with the vacuum cleaner, trying to get as much as I can in the groove between the two pieces of sheet metal, and uh, just around the perimeter of the van here, and inside. Vacuuming is all done, so we're going to go in with the automotive primer, 
and then follow it up with two coats of Rust-Oleum to protect the exposed metal. The window is going to cover up past the edge so you can be pretty liberal with the paint. Now we're doing a dry fit of the window trim on the inner edge of the cutout. We decided to start, we want it at the rear, it would be the, the least visible. Just want to make sure that the corners are actually kind of tapped in all the way. So for the junction here, normally we just take both off and then line them up and then we we'll use tin snips to cut that edge one. Do you want to cut it? And you do not want to do it short or else there will be a gap, which is visible. Not from the outside, but from the inside, which is not ideal. So just pull them off just a little bit. It's okay to just cut it. She did a great job. And now to put them both in, it's kind of helpful to do them at the same time. Oh yeah. Looks. Good. How is it there? Whew. Smooth. We're going in with some glass cleaner to make sure the perimeter of the window is nice and clean. Primer can stick to it. So now Katie's just using a rough sponge to rough up the paint there, where we're going to put the primer in a second. Katie's using glass cleaner one more time just to clean the edge. This is the primer from Van Windows Direct, and we're just going to put it on this. Dabber. Ideally, you want to try and do one continuous bead. Really? And you want to leave half an inch from the outside. Right. It dries pretty fast, so you don't want to leave it too long. And you don't want to do too much so that it runs down the side of the van. We see just one continuous strip like that is perfect. So now we wait about 10 minutes for it to dry. And then we will do the most intense part, the urethane adhesive. Van Windows Direct sends you these little nozzles and they have the V notch already cut out. So I don't know if there's a better way to do this, but I'm just trying to do it with a blade and not cut myself. Okay, so we got the perfect little V notch. It will go like this. So the bead is behind. This is the tricky part, this is how much to do. Um, I think most people say you want about a half inch bead. This stuff is very thick. Very viscous, so unlike last time, I'm gonna do a lot of holes. Okay, put it in the gun. So we want to start at the back, kind of middle upper corner. Um, ideally it's one continuous bead, but we want the junction to be at the back middle so that if there's any water or anything, it's, especially when you're driving, it's not hitting it at the front and it can run off. So, here we go. Face of concentration. <laughs> now anywhere there's too much or not quite enough, we will just scoop it off. While Tim is applying the adhesive, I'm gonna do a quick run of glass cleaner over the perimeter of the window itself on the glass, just to make sure the surface is free of dust. And then we gotta let that dry. I'm gonna pop some tape. It's special window securing tape on the window while it's on the ground here. And that way when we hold it up to the van, we can just press it down and hold it in place. happy that we don't see any of this urethane adhesive popping out the ends and you would have sides and you would have seen us kind of tapping on the window to try to get the glass in contact with the peak of the adhesive create a nice seal nice waterproof seal so now we have to wait for this to dry but we'll move on to do the back ones I'm gonna start using the awl to trace out these back ones the thing that's a little bit tricky with these is there's actually two lines you can follow. At the bottom here, there's our outer edge that we want, but then it juts up. So what I found online is the best thing to do, use the all along this edge, and then 
use it along this edge and this one and then measure three quarters of an inch down and that'll match you up with your original line and result in a nice open big window it's particularly important when you go to put the trim on because with this you don't want the trim to have a big jut in it it's not going to work so it'll be more of a oval shape rather than a big jut in the middle so it should work same process that we did for the sliding door um, basically just two of them at the same time now so hopefully we can kind of jump back and forth between them um, as one of us is doing the cuts one's tracing one's doing the paint yada yada anything to say from the peanut gallery no until now you'll notice that on the inside between the two sheets of metal there's a little bit of foam around each edge at the bottom it's quite easy to scoop out um, the outer side is as well but on the inner bit and the top it's really narrow so we're hoping that the trim will kind of pound it in but I've slid it a little bit with a uh, utility knife to try to break it up a little bit Tim's just putting the window trim on and it looks like it's fitting in nicely, just pushing that insulation or glue or whatever that is backwards pretty well. Except for this one. Never mind. <laughs> so you just have to hit it pretty hard. Persuade with, it? Persuade it in and then it stays on that inner bit and on the top bit. The outer corners and down here was no problemo. So we're just going to cut this one again. So you take both edges, if they're like this, and then you make sure they're out, and then this is the one you cut, and then when you push them in, they go like this. Wow, that looks so good. I can't believe they don't do that from the factory. I'm saying the last fan that we had with windows from the factory did not have trim like that. And I think this is gonna look much better when it's all finished. It's all cleaned, scuffed, ready to go. Now we are using the Sikaflex urethane adhesive again to do a bead all the way around and then we'll hopefully put both windows on at roughly the same time. The windows are looking good. Really like how it looks with that trim. The glue has been drying overnight, so today we're going to take the tape off and do a little water test. It's scary because you're basically relying on that adhesive to block out any waters. So exciting! Success? Yeah, nothing. Nothing! 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 Oh. Oh. Okay! And we are so excited with how they turned out. Like, look at that. Really nice. And it's kind of nice to order them all at once from the same company. They're all the van windows, direct window, and they are all this exact same tint, which yeah. we had a hard time last with the last van trying to match the tint. Yeah, last time we had the factory rear cargo doors and we had to get it tinted and it was definitely lighter than this tint. And it was expensive. Get the this. tinting? Oh yeah. Get this, it was... Get this. We're getting it. it. What more, is it? <laughs> it was more expensive to tint the just the rear windows than to order all three of those windows. Un Unreal. Believable. That's it. We're all done the three windows. We hope you found this video helpful. It took us about five hours to do all three of them. So good luck with yours. We're really happy with how it turned out. Feel free to 
Drop a comment below if you have any questions or feedback for us. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.